Today we're going to go over the history of the New York City school district boundaries and compare it to city council district boundaries. First we want to thank Kevin Jenkins who set up the initial maps and shows the history. So let's see the history of New York City school district boundaries. There's an amazing amount of detail here. It goes back to 1878 and you can see that it was mostly Manhattan at that point because New York City didn't exist as we know it today. Now let's show what happened in 1902 about 20 years later. You can see New York City came into existence it appears and there's a lot of small districts and some big ones that probably are less densely populated. Look at how tiny some of these are. Now let's go to 1964. That's about 60 years. And you can see the boundaries are also relatively similar in size. They're based on population. Maybe this area wasn't as densely populated. Now we're going to go to this whole area. And we're going to focus on the bed area here. So I'm going to zoom in on that. We're going to see the first proposal in the bed area. And then the second proposal. This has, I added the numbers, the district numbers. So let's look at that. And you can see District 16 used to be this large area here. You see this whole thing here, the one with the cursor is. And now let's look at the final proposal. You can see it got cut in half. And District 16 is this half, which is known as bed even though bed might be centered here according to this map. And there's another area here, 32, that was added, and it's Bushwick. So let's, and, and somewhere along the line, New York State added regions on top of this, which we haven't, uh, I guess that affects in a different way not directly. Now let's add the city council district boundaries. That's a whole different number scheme and you'll see it in brown, light brown, and it appears district 16, council district 36 which is right over here, centered here, is also, oops, is also a lot of District 16, but not all, because Council District 36 actually includes District 13, District 17, District, this is District 14, very confusing, and, and also outside of Council District, so District 16, School District 16 actually is in many Council Districts, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. 41, 36, and I guess this boundary actually is a shared boundary between, between uh, these council districts. So Broadway seems to be a, uh, a common boundary. So let's turn that off and verify that. See? We turn that on the common Broadway boundary. Now what we'd like to know is how these districts were created. This was in 1969 and why did this happen? Why did this arbitrary line happen here? Why did District 16 become one of the smallest school districts? 
why does it have 6,000 students when other districts, if you look over here, are very, very large. Look at this district 2, 60,000 students. Doesn't seem to make any sense. How can you run an organization like that? But we'll have to ask more questions. Thank you very much.